been a member for a long time, and my boys are members, and they are much better shooters than I am. I'll tell you, they know more about guns than any. I don't know, there might be two or three people in this room, but believe it or not, not many. So to get the endorsement, believe me, is a fantastic honor. And And I just said to Wayne, and I just said to Chris, I will not let you down. Remember that. I will not let you down. I have raised a tremendous amount of money for the vets, almost $6 million, and more money is going to come in, I believe, over the next little while, too. But I've raised almost $6 million. All of the money has been paid out. And I know one other thing. There won't be any paid agitators in this group, okay? You know, I make a speech. I made a speech the other day. We had 25,000 people, and then you have 200 people outside, and they're like professionals. You know, the signs are made professionally. They have the masks, the whole thing. You know, whenever you see a mask, by the way, the police told me this. Do we love our police? Do we love our police? Okay, you better. But law enforcement does a great job. But they told me, anytime you see a mask, they're professionals. And they're all masks. So many people with masks on. Because they go from one to the other. They agitate. And I said, boy, I'll bet there aren't going to be agitators. Look at all these people. I'll bet there aren't going to be agitators in this crowd. If there are agitators in this crowd, nah. Remember, be very nice to them, folks. I'm saying that on the record. I'm saying that for the press. Be very nice. Don't hurt them. Don't hurt them. So, the Second Amendment is under a threat like never before. Crooked Hillary Clinton is the most anti-gun, anti-Second Amendment candidate ever to run for office. And as I said before, she wants to abolish the Second Amendment. She wants to take your guns away. She wants to abolish. Just remember that. We won, and Hillary can't even beat Bernie. She can't beat him. And beating Bernie would not be tough, in all fairness. Although he is right about one thing, trade. Guy is right about trade. He can't do anything about it. But we do agree on one thing, trade. Our country is being ripped off so badly on trade. We're going to make the greatest trade deals you've ever seen. We're going to make our country rich again, strong again. It's going to be America first. Not all these other countries that don't even like us. It's going to be... It's going to be America first. We're going to be the smart country again. We're not going to be the dummies that the world takes advantage of. That wasn't part of my speech. I must be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't read you what I have here. But in fact, if I would have known teleprompters, I would have used them. I've started to use them a little bit. They're not bad. You never get yourself in trouble when you use a teleprompter. <laughs> you know, the problem is it's too easy. We have a president who uses teleprompters. It's too easy. We should have non-teleprompter speeches only when you're running for president. You find out about people. It was amazing because there were moments with the gorilla, the way he held that child. It was almost like a mother holding a baby. It looked so beautiful and calm. And there were moments where it looked pretty dangerous. I don't think they had a choice. It's a great way to spend a very, very important day. And you know what that day is. We have so many friends and so many family. And uh, look, Memorial Day, so important. It's our day, and we have to be very proud of it, and we are very proud of it. And it's an honor to be with you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So Americans use guns to defend themselves against violent crime more than a million times a year, OK? More than a million times a year. And they want to take them away. Heartless hypocrites like the Clintons want to take this and they want to get rid of guns. And yet they have bodyguards that have guns. So I think that in addition to calling for them to name judges, we'll also call them and let their bodyguards immediately disarm. Okay? No, they should immediately disarm. And let's see how good they do. Let's see how they feel walking around without their guns on their bodyguards. In the meantime, nobody else can have the guns, right? Very unfair that the press treated us so badly. Yeah, go ahead. To follow up on that, you keep calling us the dishonest press, the disgusting well, press. Well, generally speaking, that's 100% true. Go but ahead. 
I disagree with that, sir. And I, if I can ask you this question, it, it seems as though you're resistant to scrutiny, the kind of scrutiny that comes with running for president of the United States. I you're like scrutiny, you're, but you know what? When I raise money, veterans, excuse me, excuse me. I've watched you on television. You're a real beauty. Uh, when I raise money for the veterans, and it's a massive amount of money, find out how much Hillary Clinton's given to the veterans. Nothing. And then I see a few guys standing out there. They don't even know what they're there for. They, don't, they have no idea. They're there because Hillary Clinton's campaign sent them. And actually, I think it was you or one of you that found out that they actually were with Hillary Clinton's campaign, which was interesting. But I wasn't surprised. I don't, I don't want the credit for it, but I shouldn't be lambasted. And remember this. So out of the almost $6 million that was raised, not one penny did I take for administration costs. That's unheard of. Okay. I went down this weekend to do Rolling Thunder. I was invited. I didn't have anything to do with it. We had a tremendous gathering of people, thousands, I don't know how many, but many thousands of people. And I joked, oh, I thought we were going to go from the Jefferson Memorial to the link. I was joking. They said Donald Trump was disappointed. Everybody knew I was being sarcastic and joking. They said some of them. They said Donald Trump was uh, very disappointed that it didn't go from Jefferson to Lincoln, you know, millions of people. I was joking. I said, oh, I'm used to watching it where you have. I was joking. So they put it down as serious. They know I was joking. I'll give you another example. We had a certain, the same event. It was roped off where you could only get so many people there. And there were a lot of people, I don't know, 10,000, 15, maybe 25,000, I don't know, it was a lot of people. Plus there were people breaking the seams all the way along. Uh, Gene Washington, a man I like actually, wrote an article like there was 5,000 people there. There were many times that, and you weren't allowed to have any more people. So I just want to say that I've been watching what's going on and I've been looking at airplanes getting blown up in the air and lots of bad things happening. It's just not the same, and we're going to bring it back, and we're going to bring it back to a real place where we don't have to be so frightened, where we don't have to be so afraid. And you know what's happening in the schools, and you know what's happening everywhere. We're going to bring it back, and you folks are going to be so happy, and you're going to be so proud of your country again. Just remember. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more have laws against it they just make it impossible they come over here they sell their cars their vcrs they knock the hell out of our companies and hey i have tremendous respect for the job